And here we go, guys. It is time for the Fiend Bray Wyatt versus Seth Rollins. Falls count anywhere. Match can't be stopped for any reason for the Universal Championship. And here comes the Fiend Bray Wyatt. We've only seen this entrance twice. This is the third time. My prediction, I think Seth's retaining. As much, well, you guys know, I am the number one Seth Rollins fan. Seth Rollins is still my favorite wrestler despite everyone turning on him. But I think it would be the worst decision WWE has made in a very long time if they make The Fiend lose here tonight. And here we go. I genuinely believe that if Bray loses here, they've ruined The Fiend. If Bray wins, there's so many possibilities. Him versus Lesnar at Survivor Series, for example. Do we want to see Lesnar versus Rollins again? No. But do we want to see The Fiend versus Brock Lesnar? Absolutely. Here he is, absolutely terrifying. The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. If you guys haven't seen my unboxing slash review of this Fiend mask yet, it's on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description. But here we go. I am 100% rooting for the fiend tonight he's even got his head this is awesome i'll get to you right when the match starts and here we go it seems like wwe is sticking to the red lighting for the fiend matches that wasn't a hell in a cell exclusive thing i'm not a fan personally and they've just addressed the serious issue they've said Michael Cole 7 commentary if the Fiend wins he takes the Universal title to Smackdown which really makes me think that he's not winning now I mean beforehand I thought they'll just transfer him to Raw but if he stays on Smackdown there's no way he's winning headbutt Fiend destroying Rollins Rollins also never didn't bring a new gear for this pay per view which is kind of upsetting but you know Hey ho, I'm not really a, the biggest fan of the all black gear. I always like it when Seth mixes it up. My favourite gear he wore this year was definitely the Avengers Endgame gear. That was awesome. Nonetheless, let's stop talking about gear. I'm starting to sound like a WWE commentator, not talking about the match. Fiend is currently dominating. However, he's being very slow. Uh, we've got a bit of buffering here. I'm just going to fix this issue real quick. We'll be back in two. And we are back. Seth just jumped off the barricade at The Fiend. I don't believe I missed too much. Rollins with a curb stomp on the outside. And The Fiend gets up like nothing happened. Good. Bray caught him. Triangle choke. Uranagi onto the... Onto the apron. Loads of you that don't know, obviously the commentators don't tell us at all. That is the hardest part of the ring. The Fiend looking at his hurt and heel gloves. Putting the hurt glove to his ear. The cameraman just ran away. The Fiend smashing Seth's head off of the announce table and he just spits. And throws Seth down to the floor. The Fiend on his hands and knees just taunting Seth Rollins. Charging at him. Oh, and Rollins moved out of the way, sending the Fiend through the barricade. Rollins just preserved his match and maybe his Universal Championship and that's the key right now Corey because this is... I'm really not a fan of the red lighting. Look, I thought, I thought about it. I just don't like it. I mean, some of you might. Just, I'm just not a fan, really. Seth going under the ring. He's got a table now. Interesting. Now Rollins setting up a table which is perfectly legal in Falls Count anywhere. Will these guys go in the crowd? That's my real question. The time is currently 8.15. If they're not going to do overtime, this match has 15 minutes left. Suicide dive by Rollins. 
Gonna roll back in the ring, hit another one. Another suicide dive. I think this is the first time, like, in my life, other than Hell in a Cell, that I am hoping Seth does not win. Like, he, every move he's hitting, I'm thinking, please reverse. Just bounces the cover of the announce table. And again, just throwing it at Bray. Fiend down, Rollins on his feet. Let's see what happens. Seth Rollins has got a sledgehammer and a steel chair. He's currently set Bray's head up on the chair. Gonna swing the steel, ha uh, the steel hammer, the sledgehammer at Bray's head. Gonna crush his skull, Negan style. No, but the Fiend reverses and he's got Bray in the mandible claw. Bray, he's got Seth in the mandible claw. Watch Mania going crazy here tonight. But Rollins fights back with the sledgehammer. Oh, just to the side of the face of the Fiend. Bray down to one knee once again. Get back onto his feet. Fiend with a gut kick. And lobbing Seth Rollins over the... Arab announce table. Bray Wyatt saying no. He's still in this match. Bray taking control once more. Looks like he's going to put Seth through the announce table. He's right behind Rollins. Rollins trying to grab hold of his head and Bray just punching him. Gonna snap his neck. Bray's gonna snap his neck. Ah, oh, and he snaps Seth's neck on the announce table. And the Fiend is standing tall in Saudi Arabia. The Fiend just sends on himself through the announce table. We had Seth Rollins laid out. Rollins rolled. Bray landed. Cover him. One. Kick out of one by the Fiend. Bray's still in this. He just went through the announce table and he kicks out of one. Look at this replay. Big sent on. That must have sucked. I can tell you firsthand. Going through a table hurts. If you haven't checked that out, Kip Clips versus Joe Talks Wrestling Tables match. And Rollins has a chair and just hitting the Fiend in the ribcage. Trying to get a big swing. Oh, and chair shot to the back. If anything, that chair shot to the back sent the Fiend back to his feet. Oh, even the Saudis are chanting, you suck at Rollins. Rollins is a very emotional wrestler. You know that will get to him. The Fiend is on the table. Seth going to climb to the top rope. Are we going to see Frog Splash, Phoenix Splash, Elbow Drop, Moon Salt, whatever. Looks like Seth's going to put the Fiend through the Arab announce table. No, the Fiend's back to his feet. And he's got Seth by the throat. And he just shoves Seth through the two tables at ringside. Jesus. Should I say, yowie wowie. The Fiend just lifted up the protective mats on the ringside area. That's either solid steel or concrete under. I can't tell due to the lighting. The fans are chanting, Bray is going to kill you. Rollins round to the solid floor. Yes, ladies and gents, I believe that is solid steel. That's the same flooring in the original chamber. On the floor. And Rollins is about to get Sister Abigail on it. This is not good. For Seth, anyway. Sister Abigail. Rollins reverses. And Zaguri. Uh-oh, no, he's perfectly positioned for a curb stomp, but Rollins has got the steps instead. Oh, steps to the face of the Fiend, and again, and one more. He's on one knee, he's on one knee, Rollins going to hit the curb stomp. No, curb stomp on the steel to the Fiend. Oh, man. No, 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 Bray, kick out, 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 kick out. The Fiend kicked out at two and a half. 
Yeah. That was close. Right, I've yeah. probably missed a huge chunk of this uh, match, and it's continuing to do it. I've had to switch to my PS4 due to buffering, um, but currently they're on the stage. Um, the Fiend and Seth on the stage. Burn it down. If he wins, just no. Gonna hit a curb stomp on the stage to the Fiend connected. No, 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 no. I know exactly what they're gonna do. I know exactly what they're gonna do. They're both gonna go off the stage and it'll be a double fool's count anywhere. Or whatever it is, a double loss, a draw. Super kick to the fiend. Oh, please don't do this, WWE. Please don't do this. Super kick. The fiend goes down into the electrical box. And there's fire, which is clearly pyro. Please no, please no, please no. No, yes, 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 the fiend, the fiend, the fiend. The pyro went off on blind and said, the fiend is back to his feet. Mandible claw, he's got the mandible claw on. Come on, come on, Bray, come on, Bray. Sister Rabbit, oh! Cover him. One, two. Yeah! Yes! Yes, the Fiend wins! The Fiend wins! Bray Wyatt is the Universal Champion! The Fiend has done it! I seriously thought they were going to screw us again. I thought they were going to do it. I thought we were going to have a double loss. But no, thank you WWE. Thank you. I very much enjoyed that show. I really did. Much better than any of the other ones in my opinion. And it tops it all off with the Fiend as the Universal Champion. I am so happy right now. Oh my God. And the lights are out. He's just gonna disappear with the belt. He's gone, he's gone. Lights come back. Is he gonna be there with the championship? I'm so happy guys, you don't even understand. I am so happy. Finally, they've done something right. Uh, yes! The Fiend standing on the stage, leaving Crown Jewel as the Universal Champion. I will see you guys in the next video.